Welcome back, anglers! I'm the Survival Vis, and we return to Russian Fishing 4. So we're continuing along with just trying to get the basics of float fishing down. Uh, we are getting kind of close to one of the cafe orders for the four, uh, oh no, sorry, the five roaches. I've gotten them all to at least five, or er, the ones so far have all been at least 50 grams. So hopefully if we can catch a couple more of those, we can turn those in and, ooh, come on in you, what do we got? Perch? Yeah, personal record caught. Max total weight of all fish per day. Okay, well, I'll toss you in, or sorry, don't toss you in, keep you. And we'll just keep going and try to get as many different fish as we can. And then just try to get a bit of profit in from the cafe. I also want to check, uh, let me see, keep net. I wonder if the time, okay, so that I think is how long you've held on to them. So they're all actually sitting pretty good for, like, keep total right now. I guess technically, since you do have a hundred fish you could have on you, they do have to last for a little while. So I shouldn't be too worried about their condition. So I can spend a little bit of time trying to get a lot of fish for the orders to be wrapped up. There we go. Come on in, you. Another perch. Nice to see you. Uh, let me... I don't want to try right into the weeds or that, because you can get your line snagged, and you basically either have to log out, log in, to save your gear. Although it does kind of feel a little cheap to do that. Or you can just cut your line and accept your losses there. I think because there is the administration building you can get a lot of your spare stuff with. I'll pro... Actually... Now I think about it, I don't know how much line I've got, given this isn't like a real rod. This is just we cut off enough line. Oh, I gotta pay attention to. Oh, not a roach or a chub. Another roach. Okay. So one more roach, we'll be able to get the uh, cafe order done. I Again, I don't know what I'm going to buy or look at buying first. I kind of want to get something to collect bait with. Like, I think the shovel, that's what you're able to use it for. But I don't know. Again, it just seems like it's like 30 silver or something, so I think I might want to actually try to get 100 silver first, and that way I have some wiggle room on, if I do buy something that doesn't turn out as good as I hope, I'm not completely broke from it. So maybe we'll make that an objective first, is try to get 100 silver, and then be able to work from there getting other things. Uh, we just gotta wait and give it some time. Oh, speaking of... Yeah, if he's dragging that along, he's probably good for us to... A little chop. Now, it says... You know what? Let me give it a little bit more line. Let's go to 40. I don't know if it'll... If that'll change a little bit more and let us get different... It might let us get maybe a bit different species... Well... I guess really 10 centimeters isn't that big of a difference, but it just looked like when he was dragging the float along, it looked like there wasn't really that much of a distance between them. Let's give a little bit and just see what it does. I guess that is kind of where, depending on where you want to try getting the certain fish species, because if you have a shorter line after the float, They'll probably be your top water feeders and, like, a few things like that, but you can set it down lower to try to get different species further in. Yeah, it's nice to have this much customization, and then there is a lot of other stuff when it comes to, like, actually spin fishing, setting the, uh... I'm trying to remember what it was all called, because, again, I got a lot of good information, but the problem with a lot of information is trying to memorize and be able to share it all. I have pinned probably the best comment for, like, the numbered list I got from Danger Floof to help along for uh, Russian Fishing 4. And I I do feel like the early game needs an overhaul just to inform the players a little bit better than trying to say, Oh, you're interested in this game? Here, go watch five videos and then come back to it. <laughs> like, it kind of feels like it has to do a little bit more to get people who try it out hooked in the game itself than relying on the other the person who is interested to have 
like watched a bunch of other videos or stuff beforehand. Like, I would probably try to say, picture yourself as you're on Steam and you're looking for a fishing game, and you found this one is a free-to-play. You didn't look up any videos or that, you just figured, it's free-to-play, I'll give it a try and see what it is. There we go. Do you think the game has enough information within it for that person to kind of get the gist of it on their own and keep their interest beyond the tutorial and when they get to, like, Mosquito Lake and things here? Like, I think the tutorial could even keep going of saying, here's administration, if you do need spare gear, you can get some here, here's what this stop does, here's what this stop does, here's what this stop does. I mean, it does kind of do that for some of the shops around us, but there's, I guess it's like the restaurant here, you can get a free meal once per day or something. That one, I think that's what it was? I know there's the cafe you can give orders to, but there's also like an eatery or something, you'll get a free meal once a day. At least I was told it was once a day. Oh, really? I thought I might have had something with how that was getting pulled down. Okay, well, we'll try again. And we will do a power cast. And I can't even do a power cast because there's not enough line. Okay. We'll save the power cast for when we actually are spin casting. How about that? Or spin fishing. Yes. Well, it looks like we will be able to hopefully get up to level 5 before the end of this weekend. And we got 12 fish in there. I think we're missing one perch for the perch order and one roach for the roach order. I think the other fish... Be I have to check and see how many they need. I think depending on the species, there was like 3 or 5 or 7. Doink, doink. Yeah. There we go. What are you? Oh, are you a roach or a chub? No, you're a roach. Okay, you know what? Let's go see if we can get our first cafe order filled. Just go for a little walk along here. Yeah, it's not a very big lake. I mean, we were basically this kind of corner we've seen. Uh, there's still a few areas. I think, yeah, the numbers have to relate to the depth of the lake. So the higher the number, the deeper it is. So that way you kind of know if there's certain species that prefer deep water or bottom fishing. You can go for deeper uh, spots to try for that. I'll just do a little jog. Okay, cafe. All right, we got the roaches, so... Oh yeah, we don't have... We're not anywhere near the mass we need for that order, but we are for this. Oh, let me just... All right, this one uses, like, a uh, shift to... Oh, no, it's control select. Or you can just do, like, over here. Okay, yeah, so let's see. We'll sell that. And, yeah, so we got four there. Um, there's nothing for the chub. We do have one Chinese sleeper. We need more of that. The carp, we've only got the one of. Although that, I think I caught the carp on the bread. So let me just try to get one more perch. Using the, uh the worms, and then we'll switch back to the bread and see if maybe I can try getting the carp or some other things. And yeah, not really a reason to use too much power, given we can't cast super far. I'll just give it a little bit of time and see. And again, I think I don't want to move on to the next area and get to spin casting quite yet. I think if I can get a little more money, I'd like to try giving bottom fishing a try. I have no idea how that's going to be exactly. But I figure, again, just a slow weekend trying each of the kind of general fishing types will be good to just get a base. Because that's something a lot of the systems around uh, Russian Fishing 4, I feel like they're going to be kind of like a... How do I want to say this? Almost like a passive thing. Like, because you're only going to interact with them so much. Oh, shoot. I really thought he was on better. Okay, well, we'll try again. 
Fishing is going to be the direct method, so that's going to constantly see use and involvement and engagement there. But things like trying to find our own baits or cooking are only going to be every so often I'll use them. So as long as I have the basics of the fishing down, I'll constantly be using those and maybe have a chance to practice and constantly improve them. Whereas other aspects or other systems are only going to come up every so often. So that's why I figure before overloading, let's just get the sim simplest of terms covered and kind of figured out. Come on in, you. What do we got? Oh, another roach. Yeah, common roach. Okay, might as well keep you. Oh, we got a new hook size. Or, well, new hook type. CHK201 size 16, or small 16. Okay. I still want to try to catch the one perch first, though, so let's just see if we can get lucky with one. One of those. Can turn that order in. And then go from that. Oh, there we go. What are you? A carp, maybe? No, nope. exactly what I was hoping. A perch. Okay, you know what? Let's try... I've got 30 of those. Let me go back to the bread. And let me increase the depth a bit. Now, I'm trying for carp. They're usually a bottom feeder, so they might be something best to try this with. I can't remember what I got the Chinese sleeper on, but I think I got it more at night. Maybe that's why it's called a sleeper. It's more like a night fish or a nocturnal species. Probably not, but I'm just throwing random stuff out. I've also been told that there is a way to have a float fishing rod out in, like, cast in the water, as well as, like, a spin rod, too. Sounds a little too complex for me right now this early, but it... There are a few different ways you can actually try, like, landing fish. One of the ones that I was told about was actually you could back up and drag the fish onto land if you wanted to. Shoot. God, I gotta... I swear, I feel like when it's dragging down, I just sh should try bringing it right in. But sometimes it doesn't seem to want to be on the hook well. But yeah, it's just going to be baby steps. People, I'm sure there are some who want, who might be like, Oh, I've already know all this. Come on, you can easily do more or you can handle this. Maybe I could, but I'd rather not skip over stuff that might be important or I could land in worse spots. This is one of the series where, with all the warning I got about it, I knew I had to try tackling it a little differently and going a lot slower through step by step of it. It's not like the angler where it's just like, woo, 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 and you can like zoom through certain aspects of it. It also is supposed to be quite a bit different from the angler where, as much as you are going to have like optimized combinations of lure, bait, hook, etc., the fish aren't as exclusive like they are in the angler. You're going to have fish that'll bite on a variety of hook sizes and that. Okay, come on. We're looking for... Um, I guess, you know what? I'll just take any fish at this point. Like, I only do have one carp and one sleeper. But if I can get more roaches, I'll take them too. What was I going to say before I cast that out? Uh, blah, blah, blah. Oh yeah, it's not as exclusive where it's like... Once you go one hook size too big, nothing bites. But then one hook size too small and you only see certain things. There is a little bit of that to, again, try farming for... I guess that's what I do. Unless it's like a sharp spike down, just kind of let it do its slow thing and pop back to the surface. It's probably going to be the case where once the fish is hooked, it's just hooked. You can't really get away or anything. There we go. Are you another roach? Yes, you are. 
Uh, let me check the keep net, because that's what, four? One, two, three, yeah. And one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, let me try getting one more roach. Or hang on. Two more roaches. Then maybe we can try casting or filling those two ores in together. We'll see. We will see what we'll do. But yeah, it's not going to be as like strictly oriented as the angler was. Like, I still feel like that is a bit of a negative the angler has, is you can go too large or hook size and, like, nothing is interested, but it's almost like, just, like, tick the boxes and you're guaranteed to get something. I am curious to see more of, like, trying to gather fishing types out, like... Bottom fishing, I don't know if it's going to just be almost like a reverse float fishing... I was like, I don't think I... I've never really heard or tried bottom fishing myself. I've heard of the concepts of, like, bait casting, spin casting, and... Well, float fishing, I think everybody kind of has some idea of what that means. But bottom fishing is one I've not really super heard or know about. I can only guess again where it's something like... There's a, a weight that brings the line down to the bottom... But then there's like a float attached, so the hook in that is up more. It's just try and get like those bottom feeding species more so. Again, sort of like reverse of float fishing. Whereas instead of you're trying to just have a float on the top of the water and the line down for any surface hitting fish, it's the opposite of weight there. And maybe a little bit of line and something to keep it a bit buoyant so it's not quite like in the dirt or the muck of the bottom, but... Is down low for those species. There we go, there's some interest. And I just gotta wait for the sharp tug and then we can try bringing it out. There we are. What do we got? Another roach? Yeah. Okay, well we've definitely figured out the roach seem to like the bread the most. I still do have a couple of other baits I can try out, so we'll see if we can get another roach. Can turn two possible orders in. Although they might have changed, because the cafe orders, I think they're only there for a limited time. I gotta check when we bring that window up again. But I think they cycle out every so many minutes. And then I don't know if every map is going to have, like, a cafe setup sort of thing where... Probably has to have something like that. There we go. Another roach. Perfect. That's what we actually wanted. Okay, let's put that back. And go visit the cafe. Yeah, we don't want to rent a boat, at least not yet. We don't want the fish market. That's not going to give us the best value for what we want. These are the priorities, so... Yeah, so I think... Yeah, there's the countdown there. So some of them have, like... Ooh, wow, over an hour, a couple of hours... Uh, 40 minutes... Oh, okay, I see. So you can only fill the order in once while it's, like, in this window, and then it'll refresh. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to have to try up some different baits, because we haven't gotten any of these guys, or more... Yeah, we haven't gotten a carp. We only do need two more sleepers for this order, and they do only have to be 84, so that's good to know. Uh, the problem with the roach is you need to have 300 grams for the minimum. I don't think I've cracked that yet. Let me, actually, let me just take a stop at the fish market. Not to sell 6721, so we have made a little bit of profit back. Now, let me just come back down here. We'll keep working from this little dinky dock, I guess, if you want to call it something. Let's try the larvae. I also don't know how deep the water is here, so maybe I'll try even, like, increasing the depth more of the line out from the float. We'll try to get another couple of fish or so. Maybe even go for level 6 this episode. 
Oh wow, that was quick, wasn't it? What do we got? No, oh, a little roach. No, oh, a perch. Yeah, let's try... 75. That might be pretty deep, but if we're trying for something like, say, the carp or the sleeper, maybe they're more bottom fish or nocturnal. Just see what happens here. But now that makes me wonder, bottom fishing might even need its own rod, which is going to set us up a fair better rod and reel. Might be able to use the line still, but uh, I gotta figure out how I'm going to approach next weekend. I still think the best thing is just to take a little chunk of the game, focus entirely on that for both episodes, and then move on to the next little chunk, and just start like chipping away at the mountain that this is. Now that, I think, was too slow and gradual. Yeah, it was. Okay, stop spinning around. There, kind of go. Now, I gotta remember, it's the sharp pull down that I need to... I can act on. Anything that's, like, slow, gradual-ish, it's not going to count, or it's not hooked quite well. I like that. That's a sharp pull. What do we got? Oh, a frog! Hi! I wonder if I could actually use you as a bait. Well, we'll keep you for now. I know when it came to, like, I think it was the bass and the angler, frog was one of the baits suggested for them. I just don't know how... Ah, who knows? Actually, I wonder. Okay, right, gotta wait for that to be out. But maybe when I pull it in, I'll see if I can actually use the frog for an option or not. We'll just have to see. Oh yeah, try to get this other fish. That'll bring us up to level 6. Not too bad, I think, for our second ep or our second weekend. It's certainly going to taper off, I know, for, like, how the leveling experience is going to go. We'll see what it jumps up to for, uh, like, the next uh, level requirement. So right now it only needs one a thousand experience, I think that is. Eh, we'll just give it time and see. I should also check and see how much progress we've made towards, like, being able to use the leader. No, well, that was too gradual, I think. Yeah. I don't know, it just seemed to go super deep, so I thought maybe I should. I am. We'll just take our time with things, go slow, and see how we progress. I am curious about it getting into stuff like, say, lure making, the bait harvesting. It's like, I... Uh, no, no, I think that's too gradual. Yeah, I think it was too gradual, but as long as I don't do, like, a hard pull, I might be able to just, like, bring it back to the surface with a slight click. There we go. That was more of a sharp one. What do we got? We're at level 6 and another roach. Oh, and we got red worms now. Gifts await you for reaching each of the first ten levels. Okay, so yeah, after that, then they won't. Oh, actually, I meant to cancel that, but you know what? We'll try one more fish, and then I'll do some investigating for, like, bait and stuff. I wonder if this is one of the series I should look at trying to edit in and just use some of, like, uh, the copyright-free music that's on YouTube. No, see, that's... Uh, it's kind of pulled down, but I don't know if that's... Oh, that is something on. Okay, I wasn't sure, because it seemed like it was too gradual. No, oh, another sleeper, but too small for the order. And I don't know if I lost... 
Oh, I'm trying to think. If I log off, I don't know if, like, the fish will keep degrading while I'm logged off, so I might want to just sell everything I've got. I might only do it this weekend, so that way I can get told, oh my god, that's a horrible idea, why did you do that? Oh, I guess I've had my flashlight on the entire time. Yeah, I'll just... I might do that, just so that way, rather than possibly stuff spoiling while I don't play for a week... I'll let you guys let me know how that works. Actually, I mean, there is a... Well, there's a quick help, but I don't know how much info is in that. Let me bring this fish in, and then we'll see. Or, let me bring a fish in, because who knows what it'll be. Just gotta give it a little bit of time and see. No, I don't want to face too far up because then I'm basically pulling the float right out of the water. Just have to give it some time and see if anything does try. There we go. A little energetic there. Come on, one good tug, straight down. Yeah, you've been moving around, but haven't really, like, taken it right... There we go. What do we got? No, oh, a perch. Yeah, like, let me see what quick help does. Oh, okay, this is where all the info is. Yeah, so you have, like, retrieval speed you can increase or decrease, the friction brake you can put in, line clip, gear switch ratio... Not exactly what I thought quick help meant, but this is like your quick cheat for all your controls. I thought it actually would... Okay, yes. Okay, so yeah, there is user guide and stuff, but it takes you to a link outside for it. Okay. Again, let me put this away and take a look at the cafe. Just see if there are any orders I could complete. And if not, I know I'm probably going to have a lot of people going, Oh, you wasted so much money, but... Yeah, like, I've only got the one that applies for that. I have... I've only got the one there. They are degrading a bit, but I don't know if that is because I've, like, been logged in or not. Well, time to make a big mistake, but I'd rather get a little bit than lose out entirely. God, only 391, but you know what? Oh, actually, that's what I want to check. If... Can I use the frog as bait? No, I can't. Okay, well, at least I know now. Select all. Yeah, I'm just going to sell it for the little bit. We did actually make over 20 silver, so... As long as you can get lucky with getting the, uh, cafe orders for things you can catch, this is going to be the way to get your best income. Just like 1041 for that order, 844 there. Uh, I don't know if I'll ever be... Okay, well, that's actually going to be pretty big to get, but there are some things I could try working at in time. I'll have to see with more time, but I think this was a good little, a pretty good weekend to follow up from last. Went slow, got a little bit done. I've got some funding in. I've worked a little bit at the uh, float fishing. I'm still like only a tenth of the way to what I need for being able to use a leader. But it'll go slow and I'll have to see. It's just that there is a lot of stuff for... I am very curious, that says to using a spinning reel there, and that says using a spinning reel. I don't know if they are exclusive to their trees, or they carry over. It's... Again, just, there's a lot of info that you don't know about. And then, yeah, like, here you can make some lures in that. Again, there's so much to this game that it's something I've got to tackle bit by bit rather than get completely overloaded in a landslide of information. But we will end this episode of Russian Fishing 4 right here. Thank you all very much for joining me on this episode of the series. If you did enjoy the video, you should give it a like, and if you have any comments, tips, or tricks, you should in the comments right down below. Until I do see you in the next video, anglers and survivors, please remember, 
as always, you take care, stay alive, and happy angling. <laughs>